Legend of Total War here with the second historical battle for Rome Total War Alexander. So we previously did the Battle of Chironia and now it's time for the Battle of Granicus. Having crushed Greek resistance at Chironia, Philip installed himself as the head of the League of Corinth. This gave him control over all the armies of Greece and he immediately set about his long avowed desire to reclaim the Persian ruled Greek cities in Asia Minor. In 337 BC, Philip sent an advanced invasion force under his most experienced general, Parmenian, across the Hellespont to establish a foothold in Asia Minor. But in 336 BC, Philip was suddenly assassinated and his young son Alexander had to move quickly to establish himself as undisputed king. Alexander immediately had all suspects executed and then marched to Greece where he summoned a meeting of the League of Corinth and forced the city-states to confirm him as rightful heir to Philip. He then quelled minor uprisings in Sparta and Athens before turning north to quash the unruly barbarian tribes. And when the city of Thebes rebelled, it soon learned what would become of those who dared defy Alexander. He razed the city to the ground and enslaved the entire population. For the time being, Greece was pacified and Alexander turned his attention to the east and the Persian Empire. The advance force under Parmenian had been held up by the Greek mercenary leader Memnon, who was fighting for the Persians. When Alexander arrived with an army of 40,000 men, he immediately confronted Memnon at the Granicus River. All right, so this time no reinforcements or allies, which is probably, probably the best. We've got Alexander, some archers. I never got any archers in my Arthur campaign. Um, whatever. Some Prodromoi, Thessalian Cav. What happened to the Companion Cav? Well, they all died in the previous one, didn't they? So we've got Phalangists, High... Uh, whatever the fuck they're called. Agrarian government. What have they got? A lot of cavalry, Scythian mounted archers. Okay, so they've definitely got cavalry superiority. We've got pike superiority, which I don't care for pike superiority. Those archers are going to be a problem. At least they don't have any any foot archers because those are really deadly. I say, okay, let's let's do this. It is late in the day as a Macedonian army approaches the river Granicus. Scouts have reported a large concentration of Persian troops on the far bank. Horse archers from Scythia and heavy cavalry from Hycania and Bactria together with mounted axemen from Barcania. Memnon of Rhodes, a mercenary officer, commands them. He has chosen the battle site well. The Granicus is in full flow and its steep, slippery banks present a formidable obstacle. The Persians seem confident that Alexander will not try an attack so late in the day. The young Macedonian king has faith in the readiness of his battle-hardened troops for such a challenge. His phalangists provide a stable, if slow-moving platform, their soft flanks guarded by the more mobile Hypaspists. With the excellent Thessalian cavalry and his own famed companions, Alexander has the men to deal the Persians a heavy blow. His destiny balanced on a sword's edge, Alexander prepares to sound the advance.
Okay, so what are we going to do about this? Let's have a look. So he's got cavalry. Uh, they've got cavalry on the three river crossings here. Archers would be best to use against them. Javelin cav, heavy cav, javelin cav. Okay. Then these guys over here. I don't know. All right, let's do this. So let's start moving the pikes up. I think they need to be in loose formation in this battle. Found them in the campaign to work pretty well in loose formation. Normally I'm like, ah, fuck loose formation, but... If I want to get into a skirmish, which I do. Let's see what we can do about it. The big strength that they've got is going to be within their skirmishes, I think. So we've only got, hang on, these Cretan archers, are they long range missiles? Alright. I think we may actually be able to outrange them with these. Don't fire at will. So we have to pick our targets with care though. Fuck are they? So shoot it, whatever's gonna give us the most problems. And I think their uh, Hyrcanian cavalry are going to be a lot worse than the heavy Bactrian cav, which will just fail against our pikes. In addition to that, we'll do more damage to the lighter armored units. A little bit more on the bank here. Uh, hang on, just hold your fire for a moment. Let them get closer. That way, if we miss, we might. No, uh, it's not going to be the same. That's okay. They're not doing a lot of damage. Okay, just hold off a moment. Flaming shot's not going to do more damage. Um, Greek mercenary. No, they're not doing anything. Okay, um... Fuck. Alright, let's see how we're going to do this then. We could try shooting into flanks. So come over here. Actually, come down over this way. They've got no missile units over here. So if you stand here and shoot from this angle here, you're actually going to be shooting somewhat into their flank. So you'll do more damage that way. See? But overall, they're not doing a lot. Okay, they're getting shot at by something. Oh, they've brought their own their own horse archers up this way. We almost use all of our ammo up, so just just um, sit there and suck up suck up damage. So look at percentage wise, how are we going? Two to two. It's okay. It's the skirmish phase. Okay, if they use up all their ammo, then it's fine. Okay, I fully expect that the Scythian mounted archers will, at some point in this battle, use up all their ammo, just because we don't have enough cavalry to sort of catch up to them. So if you could soak up all their ammo, that would be great. Because it's not like we need it for the next battle. It doesn't work that way. Well, then they're just going to move them back? That's fine. I'd say I got the better of them on that skirmish, even though we lost more men than they did. Okay, next up, Agriani and Javelin men. Okay, if we're, if we're going to send them in, send them when they can't be skirmished by, by them. It doesn't really matter if the horse archers want to have a go at us. I would like... ...them to take out the heavy Bactrian cavalry. I don't really care if this is not what Alexander did historically. It's hard to emulate it exactly what he did historically on very high difficulty and still get the same result. As long as you use up all your javelins, I really don't care if you all get killed. Okay, good. You just stay right there. Because if I turn their back, 
They're just gonna get shot to shit. You get back in there. Get over here and get shot. As soon as those guys have run out of ammo, that's, that's a big advantage that they've got over us here. How many of them did you kill? Yeah, fucking nothing. It's alright. Our pikes will beat their mercenary infantry. Okay, good. You just stay there just in case I want to come back here and shoot us some more. You come back over here. Skirmish a bit more. So basically throwing away all of our trash units so that our elite units can come in here without being harassed. The Scythian mounted archers should be running out of ammunition fairly soon. But we, we don't really have any more skir actual skirmish units. We've got high, high pass pacifists. Not really the same thing. No, no, you don't, don't want to be hidden. Shoot him. They ran out of ammo, and so did my guys. Like I said, if these go if the the Scythians, so if the Persians run out of ammunition completely before our pikes get in, they they can't resist us. That's the whole point here. The whole point of the skirmish. Ah, uh, but then again, we're on a timer. Thirty-two minutes would be plenty. Those guys still have javelins. Like I said, I'd much rather hang on, you guys. You guys go in here, get get yourself wasted by their javelins. It's a waste of ammunition to shoot it at, at units of. Uh, we done this much, okay? Get in here. Now shooting the Hyrcanian cavalry is still important because they're actually good in melee. Let's get a little bit closer. So yeah, just get over there. Same with you. Just be, just waste their ammo. See, look how much ammo they've wasted into the water there. Just, just stay put. That'll make our approach a lot easier. You used up your ammo? What are you doing? Oh, okay. You can stay there, actually. Now, yeah, you. Come in a little bit closer, and you're probably going to take a little bit of a volley, but uh, they'll run out of ammo fairly soon now. Okay, cool. So that's all of our ammunition spent. And I think that's all of their ammunition spent as well. So now what we can do... Oops. We can go to tight formation. And we can cross this river. So I want two units apiece on each one of these river crossings. I'd like to cross this river here first so that the cavalry can get across and hit them in the fucking rear. Because they've still got peltists, I think. I never... Don't know where they went. They're probably in the back here somewhere. So yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind, get into a bit of a tighter formation and then cross. Yeah, see, there they are. Persian Peltists. Fuck. Okay, just stay put. They don't have enough to kill us all. Oh, tell them to stay put. Of course, they need to reform. They don't have enough ammunition for us to justify, you know, rushing. Could be a few volleys and then they're out. Okay. Maybe move these guys a little bit more forward so that they can take up the ammunition. 
you want to have them come at us, that works for us as well. Good, that works just fine for me. Get a little bit closer. So what, are they coming into melee? Fine by me. Okay, now they've, they've backed up over here. Now's our chance. Get it, get across. Shit. Okay, you might you might want to run. We've crossed over here. Now we actually need to win this flank. And now what we can do is when we attack on this flank here, these guys will be able to support them. Alexander, you get across here as well. Okay. Yep, everyone get in there. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Don't want them charging into... Oh, it doesn't matter, they're, they're routing the troops. Okay, Memnon is here. Let's kill him. I wonder if he's invincible as well. What are you doing, Alexander? Still got guys trying to come in? Okay, got bikes down. So I've done better than Alexander because Memnon got away on that battle. Suck on that, you Macedonian shit. Legend of Total War outplaying you, and you were playing on very high difficulty. He's playing on normal difficulty, also known as real life. Hey, Legend, you can't possibly think you're better than Alexander. Just shut up, I'm playing a game, alright? Guess who's on the high ground, bitch? Obi Wan Macedon Kenobi. Okay, we got we got more fuckers coming in over here. Where's my other cat? Get rid of these. Next up, you guys are next. Start getting ready to cross. They're having a hard time with these these cavalry. Well, the enemy general is dead, so it, we got uh, we got more cavalry coming over this way. Uh, they're going to they're going to rally on the other side. Get organized. You got pikes coming in over here. Okay, you two need to fucking run. Or maybe not. Just whatever, just get over there. Pikes down, move forward. See, I thought they'd fucking come back. It doesn't matter. Oh, 
Get on the other side. I told you to run over here. Okay, the army's pretty much beaten. Come on, break them. Get over here, help us break them. These guys here getting wrecked. Okay, I think the only unit that hasn't routed now is the one that's actually on the other side. Okay, the enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened We crush them on this one. Alright, that'll we don't need to run them down. God be praised. This victory is surely their work, not that of mortals like us. Anyway, that's the end of that battle, so like and subscribe, the Battle of Helicarnassus is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.